trying to hang on to second spot on the Winfield Cup table. Bella, a big role from him today. Still running around without his partner in crime, Ian Roberts. Parrish up very quickly. Right on the Manly 22, Dunford. It was a tight one in round one. Manly getting home 14 to 12. Some controversial try scored in that match. They shift it near their line out to Hancock. Steps, then grabbed by a leg. Grant just managing to get hold of him. Lyons went to change direction to kick. He knocked on and Elias couldn't pick it up. Yeah, State Bank replay shows uh, Lyons there trying to prop and uh, come back to the left off his right foot, unable to get uh, himself in tune with the play. McGarry was going to shift it wide. Eddie Ward just shifts the Manly back line to the mark where they should have been, five metres from the scrum penalty. About eight metres out, Elias to tap restart. Manly with their backs to the wall in the opening minute of play. Stepping is McFarlane. Elias looks to Roach. Upended. Sirena will play a role in a moment. Edmund, the dummy, Elias reached out, lost the ball as he was going to try and stretch over the line. The yeah, State Bank replay, watch the big strong surge coming through here and just loses the ball as he's turned on his back there. Most important there, Edmund tried to get to it but the play had been knocked off. They survived through that manly, now they lose it again. Some nerves in a big match for the Sea Eagles. Elias, Jack's flying into the back line. McGarry tried to step his way through. Now Sirenen. They stood back and gave him some galloping space. They'll pay the penalty if they continue to do that with him. Roach. Go up, you've got to go up. Inside the 22 again, the Tigers. There was a call for Manley to go up in defence. Neil. McGarry for Brasher to kick out wide for Grant. Stokes is there. He gets the fumbles. Beats Grant but won't get out of there. All good play from Balmain. Yeah, great chasing by Balmain. The State Bank replay will show this. Stokes does his level best, but they're all very nervous at the moment. There's no accounting for it. They've got to calm themselves down, particularly the forwards. Losing the ball on the first tackle is horrendous, as Jones did just a moment ago. But Stokes tried valiantly, couldn't do it. He gets the line drop out now. Stokes, down to Jack. Jack loses it. Eddie Ward said back. Well, well, I was expecting a scrum to go down. McFarlane. All they're doing is tackling Manly. Roach. Switch of play. Neil. McGarry. Jack. play from McGarry. Unbelievable. Yes, McGarry to Parrish. Uh, both sides are suffering from nervous uh, tremors at the moment. This pass went, what, two metres forward there. Uh, ridiculous pass for a first grade footballer to uh, put in at such a critical stage in the game when they had the pressure right on Manly. How do you see this one today, Bill Anderson? Well, I think the occasion's got to both teams a little bit, Graham, but Balmain have settled into their rhythm somewhat more easily. A lot of uncharacteristic handling mistakes because these two have been the two four teams of the two form teams of the competition. There won't be a lot in it, Graham. Balmain got the experience, I think, a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Manly got the advantage in the half and five eight positions. Well, just look at this error. I mean, there was the ball pass from Hoskins onto Dunsford there, and he wasn't even looking at the football. McGarry, Jack, Grant, Brasher. A back line that's been hot for the Tigers in recent weeks. Red Hot, Neil, Parrish. Trying to get it out to the halfway line. Edmed on the charge. And a good surge too, they go into Manly territory. Here's Elias giving it away for Roach. 
allowing the Balmain forwards to get beyond the advantage line very, very easily, though. That's uh, not good enough for Manly at the moment. You saw by that statistic, just there's six handling errors already in this game. Tigers 10 metres inside Manly's half. This is the last for the Tigers. Elias down for Stokes. Plenty of chases. Stokes can't handle it. The penalty's going to go Manly's way. I think it was for uh, holding on to a player after he'd been uh, dispossessed of the football. And there it was. He was swung round when the ball was no longer in his possession there by number three for the Balmain side, Tim Brasher. Gee, Manly have been called upon to soak up plenty of pressure in the opening minutes. Well, can't me down. I'll have a talk about the lower grades. Balmain 36, Manly 20. Very exciting big uh, scoring game, high scoring. And right at the death, Manly 14 got over the Balmain side 10 in the reserve grade. Both exciting matches. Jones will play the football five metres short of halfway. Here comes Bella. Takes play inside the Balmain half. Lions. Two V. Brasher flinging into the ground. Lions down the blind. Will find touch. The yeah, Lions with the uh, usual grubber kick, the uh, accepted mode of uh, operation there. Only a gain of about 12 metres, but nonetheless the pressure's on Balmain. They're oh, only about 10 metres out from their quarter. They've won the scrum. Yeah, it's gone with the feed. McGarry and Jack work the play, and Lions just crashes McGarry to the ground. Now O'Brien. Here's Elias. Kicking early in the tackle count. The chases are there. It's back for poor old Frank Stokes, who's had a bit of work to do so far, and he got away. Nice work from Stokes. Elias finally claims him just outside the 22. Tackle count restarts as it was touched in the play of the ball. So Hancock will play it. Now here's Lyons. Tooby's gone without it, snapped up by O'Brien. He's pulled down 10 metres short of the line. Manly forced to defend again. Across through Parrish to Elias. Now for Brasher. Robinson is with him. Robinson's gone back inside. Brasher hangs onto it. He's so close to the line, five or four metres away. Robinson dummy half to Elias. Now it's with Parrish. Three Manly defenders on him, 10 metres out. Elias comes back for Roach. The big man slips it back for Neil. Quick hand, dead man. Standing, trying to swivel out of the tackle. Put down, still 10 metres short of the line. Across for McFarlane. Last tackle. Good defence for Manly. They're only eight or nine metres away. Neil, the little kick through. Hasler dives on. Good stuff from Manly. Just a few metres away from the line, here's Lydia. No score from Brookvale, Manly and Balmain. Manly under all the pressure so far in the game. Now it's with Hosking. He's pulled down about 18 metres out. Back for Stokes. Gary Jack. Ran a couple of paces before he had it. Stepped inside beautifully from Jack. Oh, fine run from Gary Jack. Give it away to Elias. Elias inside the corner. Yes, he tried to work a reverse pass there with Elias, but Elias fell over Jack's legs. Here's Edmund with a pass that looked forward. Back to McFarlane. They're 10 metres away again, the Balmain side. Elias, dummy half. Here's Roach for Surin and Surin and Swamped. Flings it anywhere. Grant has it on the 22. Elias stumbling as he tried to pick the football up. It's with McGarry. Well, they can't keep tackling like this. Bell, it's all Balmain at the moment. They're just laying on the pressure, left, right, and centre. The drop passes and bad uh, handling by Manley. Balmain just uh, playing a, a game at the moment. There's a field goal attempt that's unsuccessful through the post. Doesn't get a point for that. Playing the wrong game. Still no score here at Brookvale game that has, well, it's been very fast and Manly have really defended well under enormous pressure. But have been able to keep the Tigers out so far. The Tigers have won all the scrums. Connors 
chasing this kick through, picks it, picks it up magnificently. That was beautiful, under enormous pressure to take that ball there on the bounce was great. Now, great opportunity now as Tuvi runs onto the Hasler pass. Still going Tuvi, Tuvi's going to go on the way! Oh, great stuff from Manley. Well, totally against the run of play. I can't believe that Manly are led in this game, and uh, we'll see that again on the State Bank replay. It's just an extraordinary piece of football, a little bit of brilliant extemporisation, and here's the end part of it. We see now with Tuvi coming away. It all started with that beautiful O'Connor take of the kick through by Lyons, but there he is just swiveling out of tackles and going on showing his enormous speed, very quick off the mark. Now the O'Connor attempted conversion instrumental in that try and adds the two extra points so manly against the odds so far come up with the lead over balmain six nil yeah, well, they can't rely on that sort of situation scenario again can they i mean for the sake of their supporters and one particularly ailing uh, commentator i think that we we need a little bit more sanity in their football well again they've surrendered possession very very early so the Tigers come up with possession inside the quarter. It's come out to Brasher. Now back for McFarlane. Here comes Roach. Flicking at McFarlane, couldn't have it. Hang on to it. O'Brien was able to grab it. Now it's with Neil. Here's Parrish. He's beefed up in the off-season, but... Parrish, he's a big boy now. Neil puts this in the air. Stokes under pressure again. It's been knocked forward and will go dead. Certainly given Manly the opportunity to, to bring it out from a from the 22, that would have been under great pressure again. Here's Bella. Back down the blind side. He's become Manley's not so secret weapon this year. Bellary's played tremendously well, guarded the ball for hundreds and hundreds of yards, always forward. Uh, he's, in my view, the best club uh, purchase in the forward since Malcolm really. And was able to get it inside Balmain territory. Lions makes a mess of it. Eddie Ward finally gets them settled for Parrish to pick up from the scrum base. McGarry, for Sirenen. Elias, looks left, stays right, for Edmund. The ground is fairly well marked in the middle part of the, the book bar. Sirenen, Parrish. Straightens up back for Neil. Hosking was over the top and a little late on that one. Elias back for Neil. Brasher and Grant get together. Hasler, great pass back infield for O'Brien. One hander from Grant. Great tackle from Cliff Lyons. Last tackle, Neil. Brasher, Neil again. Back into the end goal. Tuvi. Gets there, it'll force the line dropout. Stokes with this line dropout. The ground looks very shifty in places, Bill. Yes, it is, Graham. As a matter of fact, there are a few grounds around Sydney at this time of the year that seem to be very much devoid of grass. The players are slipping and sliding, but, gee, I'll tell you what, it's a sensational game of football. While I've got you, Graham, there's a bit of concern in the Balmain, uh, Balmain camp about Paul Siren. He seems to have injured his calf muscle on the right leg, but they're having a look at it. Edmund. He can be just as dangerous charging onto it. Eddie Ward gets Manley inside the five. Balmain might have been happy to stay with the roll there. They will have to settle for the kick. Brasher, 25 goals this year. There he is from right in front. 26. And one in this game. 6-2, Manly lead Balmain. Gary Jack is there to pick it up. Pulled down just by Tuvi, just 10 metres out. Now McGarry. Here comes Sirenen. Leg of Sirenen seems to be okay. Elias, got it back for Roach. Back for Sirenen. 
Lyons has got him. Sirin has lost the football. And the penalty is going to go to uh, Balmain. Punch up. Sirin's involved. I think Lyons is in there as well. I think Sirin objected to having the ball stripped off him, which is all part and parcel of the rugby league. Uh, if it's been illegally done, he's uh, got to uh, not go on with a fisty cuff to be able to let the referee adjudicate on those situations. Lyons will be the man he wants to speak to from the manly side and Sirinan from the Balmain side. Now we remind you the penalty has been given to Balmain. So whatever happens here, the Tigers are going to come up with the penalty. Lyons receiving the words from the referee Ward. Well, there it was. Just away to the left there. Moved off uh, camera, off uh, the screen. We couldn't actually see it. The penalty, as the Bears said, had previously gone to the Balmain side. Lyons was considered to be the transgressor. So Gary Jack with the kick for touch. Very small angle to work with. That's a great kick. That is a magnificent kick from Gary Jack. Finds touch about uh, 25 metres out. Ropes brings it up, turns it back inside. Elias is there for it. Only about 15 metres away. Back for the 22. Now he's Parrish. He'll play it just on the quarter line. Playing it forward. Well, well he, forward. he was facing sideways partially as he played that. Uh, uh, that's ridiculous. He's allowed to get away with it. So Neil now gets it on to uh, Roach. Roach back for Neil. Neil's giving it back for Brasher. Only a few metres away now, the Tigers. Elias, dummy half the big Syrian. He can't get there. Elias over for Jack. Jack for the corner, gets it down and scores. <laughs> Gary Jack, the try scorer. It's taken him a long time, but they finally cross the line. OK, state bank replay. Let's watch it again. Elias away to Neil there. Neil quickly out there to, the, uh, to Roach. Roach standing in the tackle. Gets the pass back in the inside to Neil. Away then to Brasher. Brasher goes very close to scoring here. Stands up in a tackle with Stokes being the main uh, defensive man there from uh, the uh, killing of the ball point of view. Then it was quickly away to Surinan. He was able to bounce it off Elias. And Elias there on the Gary Jack. And that was very, very quickly done. We'll see it again perhaps from the head-on shot. Just to talk about these legs, whether they were in the field of play. Maybe we won't see that from this angle. But there he is scoring a very, very good try on the face of it. Haslow's not all that happy about it. He was the last tackler, but there's a good try to Gary Jack, who's certainly come back into form. I think he scored two last week. Now, there is this other shot, and we'll say that he scored the try. No argument about it. The touch judge agrees. He's the nearest man to it. Four tries for Gary Jack this year. And Brasher, 26 goals for 1990 from way out wide. Oh, magnificent kick from Tim Brasher. Beautiful kick from the touchline. So, the Balmain side hit the lead. Eight to six over Manly. Now they're in Balmain's territory. Dunford, one-hander, back for Jones, then to White. White straightens. Lydiard was coming on his left. Sloppy ball for Lyons. Hasler puts the foot down. Hasler with support. Hancock will score. Oh, great play, Des Hasler. They just opened up. Really opened up easy, Balmain and Hasler. Set thank you to Hancock. It's splendid try, spectacular stuff. The crowd have loved it. The flags are waving. See it again. It was a terrible dummy half pass from Bella. He couldn't quite get the ball in his hands. Got to win a Lions. Hasler just excitingly went straight through the gap. Drew the fullback. Got the pass. A belly shoggy pass up on the right hand shoulder to Hancock. Hancock's over the line. Now able to go round about. Well, he's gone round about 15 metres, 16 metres. For that pass there, I thought it was going to be a shocker. And Lyons did very good, well to just get the pass away, quick hands onto Hasler. Now, Hasler sighted an opening there. I didn't see it. Didn't see the opening. He saw it, and he went for it. But look at that uh, clear space that's been given to Hancock to go around his own man and come round and score a try, barely adjacent to the post. That's spectacular stuff. O'Connor, 50%. Next to the uprights, he makes a meal of it. He can't believe it, but they've still got the lead by two, 10-8.
Now, Dunford has come to the sideline. Looks like he's going inside, Bill. Yeah, he's going into the head, Ben Ian. They haven't made a replacement as yet, but the fellow who's taking his tracksuit off the reserve grade hooker, David O'Donnell. I'd say he'll be going on in 22. Well, let me just say a few words about David O'Donnell. He's only played about a game and a half in first grade, but last Sunday, when Manly defeated the St George side in the last 30 or 40 seconds, he was responsible for a very long run from dummy half that set the play up for O'Connor to finally give it on to Shelford and Shelford to give it out to uh, Lydiard. So that's a little bit of a biog on uh, the young man that's just come on as a replacement. Lions did very well to pick that up. It looked like it might have been John Jones that left the field. We'll check that in a second. Hosking now will play the football. Now Stokes. Down for Gary Jack. In fact, that was Jones who left the field. As Gary Jack makes another good run, gee, he's in good form. Brings it up to halfway. Here's Robinson for Brasher to Grant. Robinson. Here comes Roach. That's five tackles used up by Balmain. Neil, Parrish, McGarry for Robinson. Robinson got it back for McGarry. This is the last tackle. Neil can't handle it anyway. It's over the touchline. Cliff Lyon seems to be in trouble. I think he's dislocated a finger. As Bella brings the football up. Lyons is really clutching at his hand. Now White. Hosking. Caught by Surin. Lyons. For O'Connor. O'Connor into uh, Balmain territory before he's finally put down. Bella. Five tackles gone for Manley. Lyon sends Jack. Only 10 metres out from his own line. Beat two tackles before he's put down just about on the quarter. The Stokes who got him in the end. Well, O'Connor's gone back to fullback, and Stokes has uh, well, he's gone back to replace Stokes while Stokes was chasing through there. So he comes back in now. Now Parrish. Strong defence. Yeah, Dunstead playing pretty well there in the uh, hooking position for the Manly side. He's a workaholic as far as defence is concerned. He, he sprints everywhere. Elias, who's put a couple of kicks out on the full. This one's not out on the full. It's uh, a great kick. Fine touch on the quarter. In it goes. Tuvi made sure Elias didn't win that one. McGarry takes Tuvi just on the quarter. O'Connor. Still going. Another good run from O'Connor. Another player who's back to good form. Hosking will play it. As the halftime siren sounds, referee Ward calls an end to proceedings for a break. So we go to the halftime break with Manly leading Valmain by 10 points to 8. Eddie Ward gets us underway. Stokes. Looking into the sun, Balmain. And Siren have handed that back for Jack, who's been dangerous on a number of occasions. Brasher. McFarlane. What about the mile from both coaches, Bill? Well, Graham Lowe stressed the obvious. They've got to minimise their errors, and we all saw how many they made in that first half. But he wants a more accurate kicking game, Graham. He thought that they were just giving Gary Jack kick, uh, catching practice. Warren Ryan spoke about reforming in defence. He thought it was the worst that uh, he'd seen from Balmain all year. 
Well, this is sloppy play from Balmain again. They lose it. Lions play on. Cunningham quickly for Tooby to scoop. He's getting away from them all. No, he's not. They just get him about seven metres out. Robinson was the one that turned and chased. Kicked by Elias. Six more tackles. Just as Manley started the first half hanging on, now it's Balmain. White, five metres away. Lions doubles back around Hosty. Held up in a tackle, he loses it. Balmain are in possession. <laughs> Incredible play from the Tigers when they were settling for a kicking game. O'Brien. Parrish. With a start like that to the second half, you will be starting to think about Wayne Pearce and Bruce Maguire coming off the bench. Neil. Wayne Pearce in the jacket there. Last tackle. Elias. Decides to kick from dummy half. Whilst Manley's kicking game hasn't been strong, it's been one of the worst from Balmain for a long time. White. O'Donnell to dummy half. He has a run from there. Easily picks off five or six metres. Bella. Sheeran with a bad miss tackle. A little knock on against Bellado. <laughs> See if we can pick it up on the State Bank replay. Just the ball belted out of his hands there, uh, underneath the body. McGarry. Grant. A little bit of run out, one out running, I should say, from Balmain. Roach. He's shaping to use the support. Jack was the man who was there. McFarlane. Sirenin. Clutched that out of midair. Got his hands around the back, but only as far as Lydia. He couldn't take the pass. It was a perfect one. Six more for the Tigers. Elias out of dummy half. Here comes Neil. 12 metres out. Edmed on the charge. That settles things down for Balmain. McFarlane and Roach are there. It goes to Roach. Now to McGarry. Right in front of the post, 10 metres out. Elias keeps it going to the right with a long pass to Brasher. He's got Jack. Jack running to the corner for try number two. He's just short. Elias into the end goal. This is a dangerous one. They all fly. Manly knock it dead. No, they don't. Who forced it? Balmain try. Eddie Ward checks the touch judge. He's going to call the touch judge in. The touch judge had stayed this side of the post. No try. The touch judge had never gone round into the end goal. Well, that's good refereeing by Eddie Ward, regardless of the result of it. Uh, not talking parochially there, but uh, to not be sure himself. Actually, the ball came off the head of a Balmain player at that stage. It was finally forced by a Balmain man, but there'd been a knock-on prior to that. McCann is on for McGarry. Lions can't believe it. Well, now, that's absolutely ridiculous for Lions to carry on and abuse the referee after being penalised. This fellow's got to get some discipline in his football or he's no use to anybody. Everyone's sympathetic to Lions because of the good football he's played this year. And they, a lot of them want to see, I'm um, one of them, would like to see him get a, a kangaroo tour. But I'm not interested in him in any shape or form for any sort of football if he's going to abuse referees. We saw enough of that in the Soccer World Cup. Lyons finds himself in the sin bin. Tim Brasher trying to equal the scores. No problems. The football game is all tied up at Brookvale. Manly and Balmain locked together.
together at 10. Stokes with the restart for Manly. Gary Jack back on his own line by the time he caught it. And brings it out almost to the 22. Here's Maguire. Elias. Good run from dummy half. Now Roach. Neil. A little bit of indecision. Had to go on his own in the end. A few metres from the halfway mark on the last tackle for Elias. Hancock back on his 22. Brasher underneath makes the tackle. Now O'Connor. White. That's a good run. Here's Shelford. Up to halfway. Down he goes. Maguire and Edmed making the tackle. Now Tuvi. Crash. Still able to offload nicely. Back for Hasler. Last tackle now for the Manly side. Lydiard goes into dummy half. Here's Stokes. Jack, 10 metres out from his own line, got away from Stokes and pulled down on the 22. Been a while since Balmain have been back down here. Again, the territorial advantage, Villas for the Tigers. 145 tackles in possession overall. Yeah, very much so. I think Manly have contributed to their own problems, Graham. They've had to make a mammoth amount of defence because of their, their poor handling, but they have handled that admirably. I just had the feeling a few minutes ago that they were playing like a team that was behind when they were in front, but now with the scores at 10 all, I suppose they've got to play with a little bit more flair. And they've got to start to get a little bit of emergency into their play. Stokes. A crowd of just over 23,000. 23,100 here at Brook Bar. Watching a game that's going down to the wire. Dunford. Heavily back slam. Looking for a big play, Manly, to get out of here. Shelford helps. Although that pass was a dangerous one to Tuvi. Bella. Taken by McCann and Brasher. Crowd on the back of the referee. Stokes, plenty of time. Kicking for the sideline. He needs it to break right. It goes the other way for Jack. Hasler's down there with White and Tuvi. Good tackle from White. O'Brien, they need a Balmain mistake. Something to give them some flow of play down this end. Elias, Roach, Swivels, back for Neil, Neil to McFarlane, breaks a tackle and has got plenty of support, Maguire, Maguire, inside is Grant, so is Cunningham, Grant loses it, Hancock, is this a turning point? There was a wonderful chance there for the Tigers. Stokes. Could have easily been a Balmain try. Lyons. Hasler. Back for Lyons to straighten up. O'Connor. Juggles. Gets away from Edmund. Gets away from Brasher. Has got Lydiard outside. He stepped wonderfully. And has got support from Lyons. Lyons and Neil. Neil won't get him. That was a turning point, right under the black dot. He's fresh, he's just come back from the sin bin. You reckon he's not happy with that? Well, why wouldn't he be? It was a magnificent try, but forget Lyons, he's ran 40 yards to score it. Just look at the magnificent bit of work done by O'Connor to start with, and then Lydia. They did magnificently well.
absolutely superb. Haslam's here. We'll watch the pass go back from Lyons to O'Connor. He changes direction several times. There he juggles the football. Now watch him go to the right, then back to the left, all the time evading players. There's one tackle he's dispossessed himself of. Got it out beautifully to Lydia. Now watch this. In and away. Step back in. Step back in. Defeated two very good defenders there. Lyons, as you said, was fresh. Came back on the football field. He sprinted. Why wouldn't he? I could have scored that try, but I couldn't have done the things that O'Connor and Lydia did in the lead-up to it. Absolutely superb. Another angle on it. I could look at this all night. Marvellous stuff. O'Connor going to the left. Now he veers, comes back to the right. He's evaded the tackle there. That's Brasher out of the way. And then offloads to Lydia. Now watch it from head on. Look at the beautiful footwork. Absolutely superb. And again, the same thing again. Oh, yeah. They'll build a monument to this fellow in the manly area. On the corso, the statue to Lydia. And uh, uh, Lyons running on with the arm upraised. Why wouldn't he? He's very happy about that. I hope he's got all that nastiness out of his uh, system now that we can get on with a bit of football. Not a happy day so far with O'Connor, but he doesn't miss this from right in front. Breathing space, 16 to 10, Manly over Balmain. And here's somebody who can put their mind on the job. Wayne Pierce to the sideline. Benning Elias has said he's the most inspiring captain he's ever played under. And as Junior gets set to go on, it's that sort of inspiration the Tigers need. Elias for Maguire, Brasher. McFarlane is the player who will come off to enable Junior Pierce to go on. Well, that's a pity. McFarlane's been playing particularly well. Now, they stood off Neil and uh, let him throw a dummy there. Roach, that change has been made. Pierce is on, but they've squandered possession. Well, the referee's called it back. He's giving the pass to uh, the ball to Manley for the sixth tackle. They really theoretically could have continued play on because Manly were in possession. So Pierce is on. 16 to 10. Manly over Balmain. Here's Bella. About nine metres from the halfway mark. White. Pierce in to make the tackle. across for Dunford. Right on the halfway mark. A little kick and chase from O'Connor. Referee had a good look at it. Taken Picked out up by O'Brien. The penalty's going to go to Manley. Yes, let's see that again. I think the referee was totally right there. Michael O'Connor does a little chip kick over the top and then gets a workout from some of the Balmain defenders. There was a, a, a kick actually levelled at him. Uh, it all happened so quickly there. Unfortunately for Lions, today, that little outburst back there, I know there's a lot of tension, I know there's a lot of drama in this match, there always is with Balmain Manly games, but that little bit of tension there has brought back all the business of him being bad with referees all over again, in my view. And I wish to heavens he'd cut it out. I don't know, he said something wrong there. I have to watch myself. Two from four for Michael O'Connor. But I'm only learning the business when I've been in it a few years longer. Yeah, you know. Stick with it. O'Connor with a shot for goal that could put his side eight points in front. Crowd like it. Touch judges like it. Manly shoot to an eight-point lead by Michael O'Connor. It's 18 to 10, Manly over Balmain. So watching the first 20 minutes or so of this football game, there's no way in the world you'd expected Manly to be leading 18 to 10. No, but they've got the history on their side because I don't think the Belmont side have beaten Manly here since 1985, which is a good statistic. But it's only a good statistic if you've got a football team that can, <laughs> that can go with it. Stokes, Balmain still have 10 minutes in this match, but if they lose, they will go to fourth spot. From second to fourth, that's how tight this competition is. And a further loss next week can see them out of the five in a fortnight. What a crazy competition. Lions, Hasler. Like men possessed today, Manly, they've had to do so much defence. Bella. Shelford. 
21 missed tackles by Balmain. Some of their forwards really have missed some easy ones. Lions infield for Lydiard. Out on the uh, left to Tuvi. Back for Lydiard. He's involved in another oh, try. Oh, yeah! Oh, sensation. sensation! David Lydiard really has played on two superb tries for his team. Tuvi's got the try, but it's Lydiard again. Oh, bless my soul. What can I say? That was absolutely superb. Just have a look at this. There is the dummy half roll as O'Donnell. Getting the pass away out there to Lydiard. On there to Tuvi. Back inside to Lydiard. Lydiard's nearly tackled, but gets it away to Tuvi as the pass, as his body was near the ground, able to go again. See it again. Lions back on the inside to Lydiard. How many times does he handle the ball? Three times, is it? Out there to the winger Hancock. Back inside to O'Donnell. He's tackled. Stumbles. Back on the inside to Tuvi. Tuvi being told that by Hasler at that point, who was backing up at the inside. For hell's sake, son, go for the lion. I don't want it. O'Connor. No goal. Balmain looking down the barrel now at 22 to 10. And a Balmain side that really are shell shocked. Their defence never got into order in the first 40 bill. No, it didn't, Graham. I, you know, they had all of the field position, they had all of the ball, and their attack was a bit warning. But as soon as Manly started to get a flow of possession, you could see the cracks starting to appear, appear. And here go Manly again. Graham, while we're giving accolades and so on, let's not forget that man, Daz Hasler, out in the centres. What a game he's had. Hasler, the greyhound. He's always in position for Manly in both attack and defence. O'Connor. 85 tackles in the opposition half Balmain have had in this half. Or overall, I should say. And Manly only 32. Look at the confidence in this side now, Hancock. And again, the blind side has been used as an attacking medium there. The Balmain side obviously aren't watching it. O'Connor. He had played an advantage with Balmain never recovering to be in position. Somebody's had something to say, it's Michael Neal. A replay again, but the referee, of course, is waving his hands here, despite the breakdown in play by the Manly three-quarter line. He's talking to Michael Neal. Neal has been told that he's got to shut his mouth, and uh, his captain there, Benny Elias, has got to agree with the referee because those sort of actions are not going to be very productive for the Balmain team. The look on the Balmain faces is saying a lot about this match today because they know that in just one match, one weekend, they could find themselves in a hole as far as the semi-finals are concerned. They were travelling sweetly to round 16 here at Brookvale Oval. Still that 50% record for O'Connor. The great thing from Manly's point of view, Graham, is the uh, the replacements that have come into the side have all done very well, giving Manly the strength now to get their internationals back. O'Connor. O'Connor gets two more. And this Graham Lowcoat side continue to be the dark horses of this competition at 24 to 10. So once again, Benny Elias restarts down for Bella. This has been a tremendous performance from Manly. Oh, Bella has just gone straight through. And it's left to <laughs> little Mick Neal to try and pull this fella down. He just carries him over the halfway mark. Now, Chris White. And that run at Bella just about says it all, doesn't it? It does indeed. It says a lot about the falling off of tackles in the Balmain forward line of this uh, second half as the game's progressed. Bella has uh, come from the field. Paul Smith has gone on in uh, jumper number 40. I would have hate to have been replaced. I, I know it's, it's considered good coaching and good tactics these days, but when a player's really done a, a huge amount of work, but I would have loathed to be replaced. I would have wanted to be there at the end. Yeah, apparently the yeah, word from down there is that there is a problem with his shoulder. It didn't show up the last time he took the ball up. Now Parrish. Here's Neil. Back for Elias. 
Elias slipped under the tackles. Takes it inside the 22. Penalty's going to go Balmain's way. Well, they've got to take a quick tap. There's absolutely nothing else for it. That pass looked forward. Didn't look forward to Roach. Been allowed to continue on. Roach 10 metres away. Balmain desperate to put a face-saving try on in the dying moments of this game as Gary Jack charges onto the football to Neal, to Robinson. Penalty. Penalty to Manley. Yeah, shepherding there, uh, considered by the referee. And the touch judge has come on. And who are they calling out? It's exactly correct. Roach is being singled out. Shelford is also being called out. Roach is resisting the uh, referee, but Ward said to him, come here, now. So Roach, having plenty to say to referee Ward, and they want Shelford as well. Two of the little fellas. Still with a touch of judges report. They Connor and Elias there as skippers. Well, well, that sort of action yeah. is not going to do him any good at all. And Roach having plenty to say to the crowd. Now, was that a sin, Vinny? He's got plenty to say to the touch job. Well, I think you might hear more about that. I think you will, and, and deservedly so. We don't need, in rugby league, that sort of action. He's a good player. Well, that's all that uh, I've got to say about that. Now, was that a sin bin or was that a send-off? Because I didn't see any indication from the referee. I'm assuming the Roach has been sent off. No, I think you're right, but I didn't see the fingers up. Well, it may be five. I didn't see the hand go up, but apparently there was five minutes given. Well, I didn't see that, but nevertheless, five minutes for Roach. But he's sitting on the sideline. He'll yeah. be asked to move. He's sitting on the sideline. He'll be asked to move. Because a sin being his dressing room business. Well, here's Eric Cox going up to him now. Is he? Yeah, Eric Cox talking to the Balmain trainers. They'll move him. Eric is taking control here. And Roach is now going inside. Back to the action, because Manley got putting something on it, but uh, Paul Smith has knocked it down. Yeah, well, there was a try on the end of that, had he not been... Uh, had he not uh, knocked on. Yeah, they want Roachy in the dressing room. We've just been a bit distracted by the happenings <laughs> of the field, uh, not of a football nature. Well, I'm, I'm certain that you'll hear more about that incident with Roach. Probably in the referee's report. Penalty has gone to Balmain from the scrum. You can't understand it when players do that, patting the referee on the head. That gets absolutely you stupid. Absolutely stupid. Now the restart, and here comes Pierce. About a minute and a half of play remaining as Maguire gets a pass away for Brasher. Still going. Hasler finishes him off. <laughs> frantically trying to get away. He's able to play it forward and take it into the 22. Now Ed Med up to the 10 metre mark. Here's Parrish for Pierce. Got him back for Parrish. Flick the pass up for Pierce. Over the top for Elias. Intercepted by O'Connor for Manley. Yeah, that's uh, sort of says it all as far as the uh, Manly side. And there it is, full time. There's the coach, uh, Lowe, the Manly coach, who's been congratulated by the reserve road coach, Max Krillich. Been a most spectacular and exciting game. Fell away a bit in quality in the, in the latter part of the second half, but certainly a game of uh, some great skills shown by Manly. And also, I must commend the Manly side for their marvellous defence early on because they were virtually out of out of uh, their own uh, territory in their, the wrong part of the field for most of that first 